How's it going, people? It's been a little while. Um, today's the, um, the 7th of February, a Tuesday. And I just picked this up. Witchcraft! And it's from Witchwood Brewers of Character. It's a blonde ale. And blondes are more fun. Or, or maybe they just have more fun. I'm not sure what that is. But it's got a little witch on a broom um, on the neck. <laughs> Couldn't resist. I don't even know if this is any good. I guess we'll all find out. The music is uh, Metatronic from Jamindo.com. Royalty free, free download. So oh, ain't that pretty. All right. I believe we're almost done with third Nephi. Yeah. Ooh, all right. That's it. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do the whole thing. I'm not sure if I want to do any DNC today or not. Because uh, I glanced ahead at uh, DNC 20 and it's five fucking pages long. It's a long ass video. I might save it for the next time. All right. And then again, I might change my mind. Chapter 28 of 3rd Nephi. Each of the twelve is granted his heart's desire. Three elect to remain on earth until the Lord comes in his glory. Marvelous manifestations to the three. They are made immune to death and disaster. Wow, they might be walking around right now, then. All right, verse 1. And it came to pass... Which would... Witchcraft. Mm. It may be wicked, but damn, it's good. When Jesus had said these words... He spake unto his disciples, one by one, saying unto them, What is it that ye desire of me, after that I am gone to the Father? Two. And they all spake, save it were three, saying, We desire that after we have lived unto the age of man, that our ministry, wherein thou hast called us, may have an end, that we may speedily come unto thee in thy kingdom. 3. And he said unto them, Blessed are ye, because ye desired this thing of me. Therefore, after that ye are seventy and two years old, ye shall come unto me in my kingdom, and with me ye shall find rest. For, And when he had spoken unto them, he turned himself unto the three, and said unto them, What will ye that I should do unto you when I am gone unto my father? Hmm? Five. And they sorrowed in their hearts, because they're going to ask for immortality, I guess. That makes them sad. They all want immortality. These ones just don't want to die before they get there. That they durst not speak unto him the thing which they desired. Six. And he said unto them, Behold, I know your thoughts, and ye have desired the thing which John, my beloved, uh, that's right, I read about that in DNC just a little while ago, who was with me in my ministry, that's in the New Testament, not the other Testament. 
in my ministry before that I was lifted up by the Jews uh, desired of me. Before that all happened, John desired that of him. I get it. Wow. Seven. Therefore, more blessed are ye, because you asked for a smarter thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, can I live to 72 years of old and then croak? Please. Hey, can I live forever? Bless you. You're so much more selfish than that other prick. Hey. Therefore, more blessed are ye, for ye shall never taste of death, but ye shall live to behold all the things of the Father unto the children of men, even until all things shall be fulfilled according to the will of the Father, when I shall come in my glory with the powers of heaven. That's one hell of a money shot. <laughs> the powers of heaven, man. Eight. And ye shall never endure the pains of death. But when I shall come in my glory, ye shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye from mortality to immortality. And then shall ye be blessed of the uh, in the kingdom of my Father. Nine. And again, ye shall not have pain. Well, ye shall dwell in the flesh. Neither sorrow, save it be for the sins of the world. And all this will I do because of the thing which ye have desired of me. For ye have desired that ye might bring the souls of men unto me, while the world shall stand. For as long as we can stand it, and maybe a lot longer. And, and, for this cause, ye shall have fullness of joy, and ye shall sit down in the kingdom of my Father. Yay! Your joy shall be full, even as the Father hath given me fullness of joy. Man, that much, huh? And ye shall be even as I am. And I am even as the Father. And the Father and I are one. We get it. Not really, but you told us that already. Many times. Eleven! And the Holy Ghost beareth record of the Father and me. And the Father giveth the Holy Ghost unto the children of men because of me. It's all circular. See, it makes perfect circular sense. Especially if you're deeply indoctrinated already. Twelve. And it came to pass. That, when Jesus had spoken these words, he touched every one of them with his finger, save it were the three who were to tarry. And then he departed. Thirteen. And behold, the heavens were opened, and they were caught up into heaven, and saw and heard unspeakable things. Fourteen. And it was forbidden them that they should utter, neither was it given unto them power that they should 
utter the things which they saw and heard. Fifteen. And whether they were in the body or out of the body, now it's starting to sound like some Scientology kind of shit. They could not tell. They couldn't tell if they were even in their own bodies. That must have been some good stuff. For they did seem unto them like a transfiguration of them. And they were changed from this body of flesh into an immortal state that they could behold the things of God. 16. But it came to pass that they did again minister upon the face of the earth. Nevertheless, they did not minister of the things which they had heard and seen because of the commandment which was given them in heaven, which makes no fucking sense, but, you know, God's ways are mysterious. <laughs> that's, that, I've heard that one my whole life. I just, that's, isn't that so cute? It explains so much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Seventeen. And now, whether whether they were mortal or immortal from the day of their transfiguration, I know not. I guess that's Mormon talking right there. Uh, the man they named their religion after. Contrary to JC's instruction. Uh. 18. But this much I know, according to the record which hath been given of the land. Wait, given. And they did go forth upon the face of the land and did minister unto all the people, uniting as many to the church as would believe in their preaching, baptizing them, and as many as were baptized did receive the Holy Ghost free of charge. It was a bonus, you know? <laughs> it's real. I mean, it's invisible, and it's full of holes, and it's immaterial, but it's, it's real. Because you get this feeling. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen. And they were cast into prison by them who did not belong to the church, those bastards. And the prisons could not hold them, for they were rent in twain. Twenty. And they were cast down in into the earth, but did not smite the earth with the word of but, but they did smite the earth with the word of God, insomuch that by his power they were delivered out of the depths of the earth, and therefore they could not dig pits sufficient to hold them. They outdid Daniel. 21. And thence they were cast into a furnace. See? And received no harm. Man, you... I wonder if the book of Daniel was ripping this off. Since it's, since it's post-exile. Twenty-one. Yeah, uh, they received no harm from the furnace. Okay. Twenty-two. 
and twice they were cast into a den of wild beasts. They don't have any lions uh, over here, so maybe they were jaguar or puma or maybe a grizz. Uh, I don't know. Wild beasts. We don't know what they are, but they sound fierce. And behold, they did play with the beasts as a child with a suckling lamb and received no harm. 23. And it came to pass. That they did go forth among all the people of Nephi and did preach the gospel of Christ unto all the people upon the face of the land. And they were converted unto the Lord and were united unto the church of Christ. And thus the people of that generation were blessed according to the word of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. 24. And now I, Mormon, make an end of speaking concerning these things of a time. Yeah. 25. Behold, I was about to write the names of those who were never to taste of death, but the Lord forbade. Therefore, I write them not. For they are hid from the world. Damn. They could be like riding by on a bicycle with a, you know, <laughs> their little backpack. <laughs> little Tom McCann get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they start the church then? Huh? Why'd you keep Joseph Smith? You had these three immortals walking near that would have been a lot more convincing. We don't know. We don't even know their names. They're hiding them from us. Those three immortals. 26. But behold, I have seen them. That's Mormon, of course. <laughs> and they have ministered unto me. 27. And behold, they will be among the Gentiles, and the Gentiles shall know them not. They could be like, you know, watching this video right now. Hey, if anyone's out there and you're one of the three, just let me know. Be thumbs the video down. Just oh shit, someone's already doing that. That's right. It's probably my my sole Mormon subscriber. <laughs> I don't mind. It's fine. It's all good. I'm just doing this for the fun, not for the uh, thumbs ups or anything else. <sighs> just a great excuse for a little blonde ale. And they will also be among the Jews, and the Jews shall know them not. What about all those other ones that Jesus made immortal in the New Testament, you know? Who could say who they are? And they're different guys. Different bunch of dudes of walking the earth. 29. And it shall come to pass. When the Lord seeth fit in his wisdom that they shall minister unto all the scattered tribes of Israel and to and unto all nations, kindreds, tongues and people, 
and shall bring out of them unto Jesus many souls, that their de desire may be fulfilled, and also because of the convincing power of God which is in them. Okay, I'm almost convinced. Maybe another, uh, maybe a little more witchcraft. That way. Left. <sighs> Thirty. And they are as the angels of God. Non existence, right? No? That was my guess. All right. And if they shall pray unto the Father <coughs> in the name of Jesus, they shall, they can show themselves unto whosoever man it seemeth them good. 31. Therefore, great and marvelous works shall be wrought by them before the great and coming day when all people must surely stand before the judgment seat of Christ. 32. Yea, even among the Gentiles shall there be a great and marvelous work wrought by them before the, that judgment day. Those three busybodies. No time to die, we got work to do. Thirty-three, and if ye have all the scriptures which give an account of all the marvelous works of Christ, ye would, according to the words of Christ, know that these things must surely come. Thirty-four, and woe be unto him that will not hearken unto the words of Jesus and also to them whom he hath chosen and sent among them. For whoso receiveth not the words of Jesus, and the words of those whom he hath sent, wait, whom he hath sent receiveth not him, and therefore he will not receive them at the last day. 35. And. Did I read that right? Yeah, goddamn, I did. <laughs> 35. And it would be better for them if they had not been born. So, what, are you advocating abortion here? Retroactively? I guess that kind's fine, right? Those lovers of capital punishment and haters of aborted fetuses. Sorry, I lost my face. Uh, yeah, not born. It'd be better if they hadn't been born. For do ye suppose that ye can get rid of the justice of an offended God? Who hath been trampled under the feet of men that thereby salvation might come, huh? 38. And now. Behold, as I spake concerning those whom the Lord hath chosen, yea, even three who were caught up into the heavens that I knew not, whether they were cleansed from mortality to immortality. I like this. It sounds like he's dictating, you know? Just like Joseph was. It doesn't sound like a guy scratching it on gold leaves, you know, going, all right. Just saying. <sighs> totally lost my place. Sorry. Oh, yeah, there it is. 37. But behold, since I wrote, I have inquired of the Lord. We 
we got an update coming here. And he hath made it manifest unto me that there must needs be a change wrought upon their bodies, or else it needs be that they must taste of death. 38. Therefore, that they might not taste of death, there was a change wrought upon their bodies. He's reiterating there for our benefit in case we didn't didn't quite get it the first time. That they might not suffer pain nor sorrow, save it were for the sins of the world. Now that will make them sad. Otherwise they're just so full of joy. Yeah. 39. Now this change was not equal to that which shall take place at the last day. It's, that's way better. Wait for it. A little delayed gratification here, people. But there was a change wrought, wrought upon them in so much that Satan could have no power over them. That he could not tempt them. And they were sanctified in the flesh that they were holy and that the powers of the earth could not hold them. Maybe kryptonite might work, though. I don't know. Stake through the heart? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe the last one, especially. A kryptonite stake through the heart. That'll work. Forty! And in this state, they were to remain until the judgment day of Christ. And at that day, they were to receive a greater change and to be received into the kingdom of the Father, to go no more out, but to dwell with God eternally in the heavens. And that's it for 28. Let's read 29. Mormon's warning to those who spurn the words and works of the Lord. All right, this sounds important. All right, one. And now, behold, I say unto you that when the Lord shall see fit in his wisdom that these sayings shall come unto the Gentiles according to his word, then ye may know that the covenant which the Father hath made with the children of Israel concerning their restoration to the lands of their inheritance is already beginning to be fulfilled. Pity, pity. Two, and ye may know that the words of the Lord which have been spoken by the holy prophets shall be fulfilled and ye need not say that the Lord delays his coming unto the children of Israel. He's not delaying it. He's just got a fucked up sense of time. I mean, a thousand years to him is like a day, according to Second Peter. Then again, that was written after Jesus died and didn't come back. And people were probably going, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> oh, and I'm really Peter, the second Peter. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, so he's not delaying. It's only two days. He might decide to take a third day. That is a magic number. If so, shit, it's going to be another thousand years. God damn it! Just children of men, we're so impatient. <sighs> And ye need not imagine in your hearts that the words which I have been spoken are vain. For behold, the Lord will remember his covenant, which he hath made unto his people of the house of Israel. For, and when ye shall see these sayings coming forth among you, 
see the sayings? Don't you hear them? It's dead. Oh, whatever. Uh, then ye need not any longer spurn at the doings of the Lord, for the sword of his justice is in his right hand. That's scary. He's got a sword, man. He's going to lay the smack down. And behold, at that day, if ye shall spurn at his doings, he will cause that it shall soon overtake you. I guess that's his sword. He's going to swing it, and that's going to be real slow, isn't it? A thousand years to him is as a day. I mean, to him, a snail is speeding. Yeah, swing your sword. I think I'll have time to step aside. That way. Besides, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright. Five. Woe unto him that spurneth at the doings of the Lord. Yea, woe unto him that shall deny the Christ and his works. Six. Yea, woe unto him that shall deny the revelations of the Lord. The ones you're making up? I mean, uh, uh, that, that are through Joseph Smith. And that shall say the Lord no longer worketh by revelation, or by prophecy, or by gifts, or by tongues. Those all sound like the same thing. On gold. Or by healing, or by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, you could have just said the power of the Holy Ghost. That heavenly battery. Seven. Yea, and woe unto him that shall say at that day to get gain. Well, I'm not getting any gain. I mean... It's actually costing me, man. I gotta pay for this shit, man. <laughs> it's all right. I don't. Uh, wasn't complaining. Uh, or uh, by get or by tongues. Tongues, huh? The speaking of tongues. Yeah, we all know that Mormons speak in tongues, right? Oh, that's right. They don't do that anymore. It got embarrassing. Everybody thought, time to prophecy. I want to get in that book, too. Except it would have been an encyclopedia collection of fucking babble. Uh, or by healings, or by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anyway, there we go. I miss tongues. I didn't want to... I hate to miss tongues. All right. Seven... Uh, damn, how did I do that? All right, seven. Yea, and woe be unto him that shall say at that day to get gain. I'm not making any money at this. <laughs> I'm spending money. <laughs> it's all right, I don't mind, but I'm not making any gain. I mean, yeah, I got like AdSense, but I haven't had a check. You know, it's on my blog, it's here, and I haven't had a check, and I don't give a fuck, because I'm, I'm gainfully employed. I'm just fine. Yeah, you won't see me e-begging anytime soon. I even got money in the bank. And two IRAs. So, I'm not well off, I'm just... It doesn't matter if I don't make anything at this. I'm doing this for fun. So woe be unto me, I guess. All right. That there can be no miracle wrought by Jesus Christ, for he that doeth this shall be come like unto the son of perdition. Oh, not that. For whom there was no mercy, according to the word of Christ. Eight. Yea, and ye need not any longer hiss, nor spurn, nor make game of the Jews. 
Who's doing that? Not me. I like everybody. If they're likable. <sighs> Nor any of the remnant of the house of Israel. For behold, the Lord remembereth his covenant unto them, and he will do unto them according to that which he hath sworn. 9. Therefore, ye need not suppose that ye can turn the right hand of the Lord unto the left, which would be bad, because that's the bad hand. I've had Muslims explain that to me, so you don't want that, man. No left-handed shit, man. I mean, I'm cool, you know. Um, that he may not execute judgment unto the fulfilling of the covenant which he hath made unto the house of Israel. All right, that's it for 29. Let's do 30, and it will be it. Mormon calls the Gentiles to repentance. Hopefully it'll be a little better in the last last chapter, which was didn't really say much. Hearken, O ye Gentiles, and hear the words of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, which he hath commanded me that I should speak concerning you. For behold, he commanded me that I should write, saying to turn all ye Gentiles from your wicked ways, and repent your evil doings of your lyings and deceivings. Isn't a lie deceiving? And your whoredoms, oh man, and your secret abominations. And I drink to abominations and whoredoms, actually. Or I'll. Never mind. What's wrong with being a whore? I'd be if anyone would uh, pay for that. Huh? Not really. That's... <laughs> I'd rather just stick to the job I got. <laughs> and your idolatries, and your murders, and your. And your priestcrafts, you can tell this is in a specific order. You had idolatry, and then murder, and then priestcraft. And your envyings, and your strifes. And from all your wickedness and abominations, we're still in verse 2, goddammit, and we've had two abominations. All right. Well, well, I had enough. Metatronic is going crazy now. Or maybe it's just me. And come unto me and be baptized in my name that ye may receive a remission of your sins and be filled with the Holy Ghost that ye may be numbered with my people who are of the house of Israel. And that I do believe is the end of 3rd Nephi. <coughs> and it was uh, not bad. Now, 4th Nephi is like a whole one chapter. So we'll do that, and then I'll do DNC 30, I mean 20. It's like five pages long. And it's just, I glanced it over and I went, oh no, not today. Sorry. But stay tuned. And let me know if you learned anything. That was the end of third Nephi, so did you get the punchline at least? Let me know. And stay tuned. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Goodbye. <laughs>